first of all i would like to give the message that take rheumatology only if you are very very passionate about the subject my primary aim was to become a rheumatologist and to learn the subject in a structured way dm was my secondary intention i have to do dm in rheumatology because in india you cannot be qual- qualified as a designated rheumatologist unless you have a dm or a dnd and lastly i would like to thank all the faculties of stid who have given me tremendous support to grasp the subject in a structured way i bring in all the wishes and greetings from all the faculty members of speed medical institute to dr bodhibatra banarji for scoring a topmost rank in cml 1 aml rank number 2 in the super speciality of dm rheumatology and clinical immunology in any ss session november 2023 congratulations and best wishes to you, dr thank you so much sir doctor can we know about your brief background from where you started till date what all you have done yes sir said i uh, did my mbbs from medical college kolkata i joined mbbs in the year 2011 and completed mbbs in 2016 and internship in 2017 and after that i did uh, one year of house job ship in critical care at medical college under department of anesthesiology and then i joined md internal medicine also from my mother institute that is medical college kolkata in 2019 okay. and okay. completed md in 2022 okay and in the year 2022 i appeared for neat unfortunately my rank was not up to the mark for rheumatology okay so i sat for iniss that year also but my rank was not up to the mark i also sat for iniss in this year july session okay my rank improved but still it was not enough to get rheumatology and this was my third attempt at iniss this session yes correct now your primary exam was cnss or neat ss sir pri- actually i when i started preparing for uh, rheumatology i grew up interest in rheumatology from my second year onwards md so i decided that i will be taking up rheumatology because there is no other alternative branch for me where i can survive it became a kind of passion for me okay. but at that time the pattern of neat ss was different yes it was subject focused so i initially when i took speed i was preparing myself in that way only okay but uh, from 2022 the pattern of neat changed completely it became harrison based so Correct. i was feeling a bit difficult to cope up with the new pattern because i was more rheumatology focused and my other specialties for uh, medicine were not that strong i okay. honestly confess okay however i was trying my best so in that uh, angle ini was perhaps more easier for me because ini is primarily subject oriented but the only difficulty for ini is that the number of seats for rheumatology was very limited it is still now so primarily if you ask me sir i was focusing on rheumatology but since ini both has ini and neat has pros and cons where in one the number of seats is more but the pattern is a bit different in another the pattern is more focused but the number of seats is limited so i was preparing for both but trying to cope up with this new pattern of neat sir yes now because i could definitely see that your inclination more towards cnss because you have started your preparation specialty based on rheumatology and in that situation as you rightly said the number of seats are very very limited when concerned with cnss for rheumatology so when that in mind i think this i mean you said it's the third exam that of cnss in improving the rank and coming to the top most and that's to be within top 2 to get a confirmed seat and uh, to do that and uh, how were you preparing sir primarily i was watching the videos the videos of speed uh, initially sir from sir balaji then kavita ma'am and later on uh, dr arun tiwari sir they helped me tremendously because the videos were very structured and they were also discussing the pbs pattern of the questions and simultaneously i was solving the question banks i was also attending the conferences of rheumatology like irafon and other conferences to get myself updated with the new guidelines which are not present in the latest edition of 
Hodgeberg or Kelly because the books are not updated that frequently, but they ask questions from the guidelines. So overall, I was trying to build a concept about the subject. And at the same time, I also grew interest from the clinics, from the practical knowledge, from the words, from the rheumatology clinic that are used to be run in your hospital and tried to correlate the things which I read from the book with the practical scenario. And that helped me to understand the importance of the lines that I am reading. Because unless I feel unless we correlate and apply it in our day-to-day practice, it is useless to just mark up the information. Because our primary objective is to treat the patient. So we should under lead and at the same time we should apply it in our day-to-day practice. How many questions are you, did you attend, doctor, for this exam? I can get all questions. Oh, I <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> now, uh, after your results were out on CML rank number one, what was your preparation strategy for your A? Interview also, I took guidance from uh, Arun Tiwari, sir. And guides all told me that best, very best that are asked in the AIMS interview, not very detailed questions, very not very one-liners. They gave us some hint. And so I was just going through the my previous notes, what I have read so far. I was not very much uh, sure that I will become the top because in uh, AIMS, there was only one seat. But however, I tried to give my best effort. And uh, actually, when the interview of AIMS occurred, before a few minutes, a few uh, hours earlier, the allotment of meat for this year came out the provisional okay. allotment okay. and unfortunately i was not allotted any seat in NEET right. because in NEET 2023 my rank was very mediocre rank i scored uh, 1359 1359 this year so i got a bit i got See? a bit dejected i got a bit dejected and i was even uh, asking my parents whether i will appear for the interview or not however uh, my parents both supported me and so i appeared for the interview somehow and try to just give up my best. So, try doctor, to give me best. 1,300 rank in NEET SS. Huh? 1,300 yes, NEET SS. And not allocated just before the APES interview. And yes, uh, and with the rank number one. See, I mean, without rank, I mean, proper rank, it's okay. But rank number one in the superficiality of rheumatology <laughs> in CML. And uh, it looks very, very contrary. And tells you very clearly, this both the exams are very, very quite different, way apart. Yes, sir. And uh, and then after the interview results were out, then what was the state of the mind? Because the mind, is, according to the situation, our state of mind changes. Keep on changing. Definitely. Definitely, mm. sir. Mm. Actually, in this year, INISS, I did not expect anything. I My sole focus was that I will attend the questions and I will give my best. But I won't, won't focus on the results because whenever expectation increases, Frustration also increases if the expectations are not met. That happened to me in this year. Me, I was expecting a seat, but I did not get a seat. So I was frustrated. So I thought I I will give my best, but I won't focus on the result. So when the results came, I felt happy, a kind of euphoric. I shared it with my parents, my fiancé, who also supported me. And also I shared it with uh, the my seniors, my teachers also. And at last I was happy for that because... At last, my dream of becoming a rheumatologist will come true. Yes. And uh, very, very inspiring. And uh, and your, the state of mind that you have been working, and it looks very tremendous. And you are, and it is all, it's limited, and you have worked towards it, and you achieved it. I mean, uh, and Thank it you. is a role model. Uh, you will be a role model. People who are watching this video will definitely feel very, very inspired to go Thank on you, with... Uh, Persistency and consistency. Okay, doctor, what is the message that you want to give to the future aspirants of DM rheumatology and clinical immunology? Yes, sir. First of all, I would like to give the message that take rheumatology only if you are very, very passionate about the subject. My primary aim was to become a rheumatologist and to learn the subject in a structured way. DM was my secondary intention. I have to do DM in rheumatology because in India, you cannot be qualified qualified as a designated rheumatologist unless you have a DM or a DND. Even I opted for MRCP. I was thinking about going to UK to do CCT because I one time I was thinking that perhaps I won't be able to get a seat because the competition is very tough and it is becoming tougher day by day, especially for rheumatology. But somehow, so my message will be that 
love the subject and only if you love the subject take the subject just don't take the subject especially for neat i am talking about just because you are getting the subject at your rank because the subject stays with you for a lifetime it is like going into a relationship it stays with you for a lifetime and so be passionate about the subject and at the same time try to learn from day to day experiences which i try to do, try to do from my clinics rheumatology clinics because reading books only is not enough because the studies that are given in the books they are mostly from a different cohort in india the studies are limited so unless you gain proper experience by seeing patient you won't achieve that much of confidence to treat a patient independently so this is the primary message sir and one thing my sir told me when i got the rank is uh, the famous quote of confucius that if you perceive with intent then the entire universe will conspire to put you in the right full place <laughs> well sir well sir very nice now the time to thank and whom all you want to thank you can use this platform to do so yes sir primarily i would thank my parents my father professor buddhadev banerji my mother mrs gopa banerji and my pnc who is also an md consultant dr buranjana baghel without their support i perhaps i have one time i thought that i it won't be possible for me but they constantly supported me and they told me one thing that never change the subject change your subject never compromise your subject take don't take any other subject remain an md but don't take any other subject because you are only meant for rheumatology even my teachers said that and i would like to thank my teachers from medical college kolkata dr raja bhattacharya dr koshik basu and dr udas kos because these three uh, sirs used to run the rheumatology clinic in our hospital there is no proper rheumatology department there is a rheumatology division and a rheumatology clinic headed by these three doctors and lastly i would like to thank all the faculties of stid who have given me tremendous support to grasp the subject in a structured way wonderful doctor and it was truly inspiring talking to you in the morning and uh, very motivated and, he, and we look very charged and after you are listening to your great words and you worked through that that's very important and uh, thank you sir very good and definitely you will do wonder for the speciality and uh, and uh, rheumatology speciality of rheumatology will be greatly benefited uh, from your contribution i am 100% sure about it because you are passionately and emotionally involved with the subject and so that uh, the benefit to the patient will be tremendous and huge for that thank advanced you so wishes much. advanced wishes thank congratulations you, to you on behalf of all the faculty members of speed to you best wishes to you doctor Thank you very much sir thank you thank you